Okay, this will be a quick video. Recently, OpenAI announced Windows application for ChatGPT. Before release of this Windows application, ChatGPT was accessible from web browsers, Mac OS application, and couple of more applications to use it from your mobile devices. Now, this is a new addition and let me show you how can you use it. If you follow my mouse, currently I'm in Google homepage. And if I just open this link that chatgpt.com, then I'll be inside ChatGPT. Now here you can see I'm already logged in, but there is no such option for Windows application here. If you see, nothing is mentioned here. Earlier, there was one prompt for Mac OS application, but now OpenAI removed that particular option from here. It's also not available in the left pane. So what we can do to install this particular application, I'll open a new tab and I'll open this particular link that is openai.com slash chatgpt slash download. I will add this link in the description below so that you can also download it from there. You can see they're talking about mobile application here and for desktop, there is now availability for Windows. Earlier, it was only for Mac OS. So now we can start using Windows application too. Let me click on this Windows option and then a new tab will open and there you'll be able to install it. So what I'll do, I'll click on download so that this particular software will get downloaded to my computer and then we'll start installation. Now it's downloaded. I'll just double click and let's start the installation. I'll click on install. Now you can see it's downloading some 120 MB of file to get the updated version. Okay, now installation has been completed. Now you can see this particular application came up. What we can do, we can click on login to log in for the first time. Let me also minimize this window so that we can see clearly. If I click on login, then it will open the web browser to authenticate. And here I'll use my Google credentials. So I'll click on continue with Google and then I'll select one of the ID where I have the access. Then you will get this particular prompt. If you click on this box, then this prompt will not come in future. I'll keep it unchecked and then I'll click on open chat GPT. Now the application will open and we'll be able to see similar interface whatever was there earlier in the web browser. Now you can see this is the application. If I maximize this window, Everything is same here. All the interface on the web browser, whatever you see, everything is same here, only with couple of very small and minute changes. You can see the custom GPTs are in the bottom part of this left pane, but in the web browser, it is in the top part of the left pane. That's only one cosmetic change. Another thing is, if I just close this sidebar and then I come to my profile picture and then I go to settings, there is one additional option added that is app and only couple of settings are there. One very good thing is you can set a shortcut key to invoke chat GPT app. Whenever you are using your computer and you are working on something else, and suddenly if you need to invoke chat GPT, you can just press Alt plus space to invoke chat GPT. You can also customize this particular shortcut key as per your requirement. Let me close it. And if I also close this particular app and now I minimize everything and now I press Alt plus space, then you can see I'm creating this particular text box where I'll be able to prompt using chat GPT. So other than the shortcut, there are a couple of more options. One is to select the theme, whatever the dark theme or light theme you want, or you want the system theme. And second option is that you can check for any update in case of any new update came that you can check from here. So these are the only two additional thing they brought in in this particular application. Everything else is same. So if you don't want to use ChatGPT from your web browser down the line, you can utilize this particular software. Please share your feedback in the comments below. If you are really want to use this particular Windows app or you will continue to use from the browser as all of us are doing for a long time. Recently, I published another video using some four different ways how can you save more time while using ChatGPT and be more productive. Check out this video to know everything about it.